Hi, I'm Sky, Creative Manager, and I want to share with you a new key insight into nailing colors for your hypercasual game. We're often told in hypercasual to use bright, cartoonish colors in order to grab the attention of a wide user base. However, according to our data, we're seeing games do the opposite and use simplified colors and removing colors. Think grayscales, whites, blacks. This is being done in order to create an isolation effect and also to bring in gameplay emphasis. This goes along the same lines as using color contrast in your gameplay for more clarity. No matter the genre of your hypercasual game, using color contrast in your creatives is key. Let's take the game Dig Deep. Both of these videos are the exact same in terms of gameplay and pacing. However, with one video, a grayscale is applied to the assets that are less important to the gameplay itself. Take a look at the background. This helps draw the attention to the main aspects of the game. Overall, we saw roughly a 40% drop in the cost per install. Color, in this case, is being used to narrow in on the gameplay and to keep the focus on the upgrades and the progression of the player. Now, let's take a look at another example, Multimaze. Multibase is one of our older, most successful games in our portfolio. We see that a particular creative is a top performing across all networks. Its simple gravitational flow is bright with colors and super satisfying to watch. Now, take a look at a more recent variation of the same video. We used grayscale to emphasize the different gates that were being offered. Here, color is used as a tutorial to better highlight how to win or lose this game level. Here, we were able to increase the CTR by 19%. In a third example, I would like to point to another game that's in the top charts that's using a really similar technique. Let's look at Moneyland. As you could see in all of their creatives, they actually have completely removed the environment, removing all of the color from the background and leaving it as a flat white. This allows the users to focus in on the player and the user running around making progress from building to building with no distractions in the background, no color, no emphasis, a complete isolation. Well, there you have it. Add this new color tip to your toolbox for the next time you want to make a video that stands out.